That's hilarious. Running from the comedy police to an alley. Hilarious. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that's the future liberals want, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay. that's crazy. All right, John. Now, if you'd like to introduce the, the baby uh, controversy. Okay. All right. So, um, the baby. Actually, a rapper. Let me get his actual stuff information up. So just to give you guys some preference, and we're not going to dive in too, too deep into the story, <clears throat> but there's a couple of questions I wanted to ask the group and the audience to talk about Mr. The Baby. And <clears throat> so first, um, The Baby, the rapper, uh, apparently had some comments where he was trying to get the audience hype. And in the process of, of, of him doing that, he would uh, <clears throat> use word quotes like, um, if, you know, all the ladies in here, if, if you if you trying to smell like water, put your hands in the air, say ah, whatever. You know, then he said a uh, statement about some gay men, as Amici clarified to me earlier, <clears throat> that was actually offensive. And he basically told them that if they were doing gay activities in the parking lot and in his concert, that they should leave. Um, but he said it in a way to get the crowd hype. Now, what does that course, mean? What does that? Well, yeah. I don't understand what the, you keep adding on that clarifier, but I don't know what that means. Yeah, as not as a clarifier, he was as just a, no, doing it. To no, get no, no. I mean, I mean that as like picture this in your head, right? When a mm -hmm. rapper is speaking in between a song. And, no, and, I, I see what you mean because there's you know, a big difference between just saying all the gay people get out of my concert and yeah. then saying it like all the gay people get out of my concert, right? Y'all love me. <laughs> Oh, I see. Once yeah, you, oh, once yeah. you explain the tone difference. <laughs> right. But nonetheless, to, if anyone's been to a concert and picture in your head, I'm trying to give you the visual of a rapper in between a song doing a number where he's trying to get his audience to be hyped up. And, uh -huh. then, and in the process, you know, in the old days, they would say, everybody put your hands in the air, right? Yep. Right? Nothing offensive about that unless you don't have arms. <clears throat> but, or... That's what people would say. And this, did the baby use the picture arms up in the air as a way to describe his views on sexuality? <laughs> is essentially what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Now, because he had did that, he had lost millions. And I want to say, like, I've heard upwards of 10, some say seven. Let's just say he lost millions, right? Millions of dollars of festival fees that booked him, the biggest festivals we know. Coming back from COVID, he's one of the hottest guys out. Now, so, now, can I can I ask real quick because I'm not familiar with the baby's music, um, but were people surprised by this? Like, is this does this come out of left field, or does some of this like exist in his lyrics? Well, it, somebody I, someone threw a shoe at him, so I think people are surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or was that a reference to one of his hits? Hey. Like, well, throw the shoe at me. Yeah, throw the <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna play long, but this is one of his songs. So I'm sure you've heard this song. They played it for like six months every day. <laughs> and Roddy Rich is on it. He's the guy that's talking right now. But to answer your question, Contessa says this music is trash. To, to answer your question, <laughs> yes, man. It'd be it'd be like he saying it was kind of like when Tracy Morgan was got you know the cameras at the concert and he was. Uh, his stand up, and he got caught saying some crazy stuff about gay men if his son was gay, right? Like, when I heard that, I wasn't surprised. He's done material like that since forever, right? But that doesn't mean that it still shouldn't be um, <clears throat> ruled out. So, to finish the story, um, all the biggest festivals dropping him out, right? Um, and let me see, and she, sorry. Tesla was posted some. I was going to <laughs> see if it was relevant to the thing. Nonetheless, so as most guys like him, I'm sure his advisors told him, hey, you're losing some money. You need to say something. Fans are upset. Media is upset. So he issued an apology on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> and then I want to say he, he doubled down on it and said some more comments about HIV and AIDS at another concert. Right. I, I do love um, when a celebrity is clearly forced to apologize by like a publicist and then just immediately like takes it back <laughs> the next chance they get. Like, takes it back. Like, 
Yeah. Just, or or doesn't it take it back, but just proves just continue like, doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah so going grads, you brought that up. So <clears throat> what I thought was hilarious about this, because obviously there's nothing funny about um humiliating or pointing out, you know, or 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 discriminating against anybody. Um however, Unless the thing I thought that was and said, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, go ahead, go I don't ahead. know, right? I don't know. Nonetheless, what I thought was funny was the fact that he had issued an apology and he had took it back, right? And I had seen people do this before. And I've seen people issue apologies that I've thought to myself, bullshit, right? So I wanted to have the conversation about what do we think about celebrities or these millionaires that everybody loves, right? Some of these people are priests, you know, like I've seen Joel Steen round around in like a diamond Ferrari, <laughs> right? And people would say stuff to him, he apologizes, right? <clears throat> but I wanted to ask you, what do you guys think about these types of situations, man? Do you think they're straight money chase? Everybody who has some kind of financial connection to them is trying to save face purely for profit. Or do you feel like it's just a young guy who's, from I think he's from Carolina. I know his dad passed away. He's had extreme fame, and he was just drunk, high, whatever, and had a bad case of um, I don't know ego, right? And it, and it's changeable, right? So I kind of want to hear everyone's thoughts on this because he just so happens to be the uh, the goat um, on the hill right now. <laughs> the uh, goat on I, the hill. I think in today's society, there's just so many people that are trying to just be celebrities, just be this, this, you know, uh, thing that is worshiped that there's just no patience for someone who's not perfect because we can just cut, cut off the baby and then hope that the next guy is just as talented and then also isn't problematic. And we can do that because, uh, there's just, there's just so many people that are trying to do that. And I think in a way that maybe we, would have had more patience with that in the past. It's just like, yeah, we don't need you. We don't need you, Louis C.K. We'll get another, you know, uh, uh, auteur to come in, and, and he'll be just as good, and and won't, you know, tell girls to suck his dick. And 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 I think that's great. I think that's exciting. I love that we are at that part of culture where there's so many like options for entertainment out there that we don't have to settle for entertainers that like make us go, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because here's where it gets sticky about him, and I'm gonna let you say something, Antoine. <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of like art history. Always done art my whole life, and I'm lucky enough to have the internet, so I can look up even some of America's most adored artists that have horrible, horrible histories. That because they didn't have the access of the publicists or as many people being able to have access to their life could really be like this person is a complete asshole, right? And we are basically financing their lifestyle to continue to do this thing, right? Um, <clears throat> and I don't have to go drag any artists down because I ain't trying to be, uh, what's his face? Uh, <laughs> but none the not, nonetheless, uh, I, Antoine, what's your, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I was going to say, I'll, and I've been, Maybe when I first heard about this, is when I started thinking about, I actually started thinking about uh, Eminem back in the day. Now, Eminem says some horrible stuff about gay people, about a lot of people, actually, right? Including himself. Including and his himself. mother. And his and mother. His, like, a whole, yeah, laundry <laughs> list, right? However, I, he doubled down on his views and he worked it into his music in a weird way that, in my opinion, somehow allowed us him to redeem himself later on he like did a live show with elton john and everybody loves that like like somehow he he took these views took the responses turned that into his art and then allowed people to make what they will of it eminem also played he developed a character mm. right so that's a opens up a different question right slim shady was a character and the character itself was horrible, right? I remember he would do MTV concerts, he would show up with a butcher's mask and you know all these different things. He was that that uh Marilyn Manson of hip hop, right? And going another question, 
is there an actual lane since there is so much diversity in entertainment well Marilyn Manson and Eminem will always pop up in some kind of culture similar to ours Tyler but the Creator Tyler the Creator a little Uzi Burt with a diamond in his head he's trying to buy a planet like is there should we look at these artists as specific niches and that people that like their niche or the people that communicate to them can have them free access but they don't got to participate in the the, the mass, more diverse pools of people, like like once you start getting into pop and stuff. But to your point, Eminem, um, Tyler the Creator, those people, those are clearly characters. And the stuff they said was very crazy, right? South Park crazy. Um, but today, things are different. And Eminem still gets a pass, right? Um, I think there was a very clear, <laughs> like, cutoff point, uh, maybe like five years ago. Uh, and, and I feel like a lot of artists just got grandfathered in and it's just like, okay, everything you did up until this point, you have amnesty over. Do not fuck up from this point on. Twitter is watching. Okay. From this day forward, mind your P's and Q's. We don't care that you talked about like murdering your mom. You know, that was when, you know, that was cool, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean I well, say, honestly, I, I I think that's that's fair because those weren't the rules back then. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's weird to change the rules and then apply it to a thousand years of history because the rules are going to be different in ten years. They're going to be different in ten in twenty years or thirty years. But what we're doing now, but, huh? like people still came after Eminem back then. Yeah, yeah, but um, you know. I, I, I feel it's kind of weird to just let's just look through history and find all the monsters that uh, you know destroy mm -hmm. them all now. Like, why? Yeah. I, I think um, it, I think there's a the really clear demarcation point is Twitter. Twitter did not yeah. exist before, uh, and, and, and I mean Twitter won't be around forever. But uh, you know, maybe and maybe even before Twitter, it was Tumblr. But basically, any point where there the like people can gather on the internet and the prevailing energy is not masculine. You know, once that happened, I think suddenly there was just this ability to start criticizing in a way that there wasn't. And, uh, uh, and yeah, I think that now that that has happened, that toothpaste cannot be put back in the tube. Uh, and, and you're right that very literally the rules changed when <clears throat> the internet allowed disenfranchised people to kind of, talk to each other and go, hey, this isn't cool, is it? Uh, and yeah, I, I don't see us ever going back to that way unless there's like a huge cultural upheaval. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we cut to an office <laughs> break room. Hey guys, um, it's me, Amici. Uh, I just want to um, say, you know, I'm back after yesterday uh, where I had the mask and I was chasing everybody around with a knife. Mm -hmm. Uh, but don't worry, that was a character I was playing. That's not me. So I don't need to get into any trouble for that. So if you guys could just not, you know, tell tell HR and stuff, that would be, be cool. I meet you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, I pissed on myself yesterday, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I mean, that was, I, that, I, like that was I told you, I told you when I was five, mm -hmm. this dude busted my house with a butcher mask. And yeah. he attacked my dog, me and my mom, man. I told you that before you started running at me, dude. That, yeah. that was the inspiration for, for my, my character yesterday. So um, not, not cool. Not cool, man. Yeah, not Carol cool. Carol quit. She's not coming back. <clears throat> oh. Oh, she's, right, Carol. She, she, was, she was so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know oh. what happened to her mom? No. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna, they're gonna, okay. Um, you're not gonna say, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, no, 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 no. Let's hold on. It's, it's not cool, man. I, I don't know why you think it would be okay to show up to work in characters. I, I know it wasn't cool, but the character thought it was cool, so the character did it. It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it. I don't know why you've had it be honestly. It was, it was the character. I haven't been able to sleep since it happened. Yeah. Since yesterday? Since yesterday. That was that was like eighteen hours ago. I usually get ten yeah. hours of sleep at night. You no, know, and he takes a nap here at the job. I take a nap here oh, at the man. job. 
okay. my doctor says I need to, or else my heart oh, can okay. give out. <clears throat> and also, oh, he wow. also said, try not to get too excited. I almost yeah. died yesterday, Amici. It's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I mean, you know, some people found it funny. Um, I didn't think it was funny. It, yeah, who, I didn't think it was funny either. Did anybody yeah. in this room find it funny? I, I did. I kind of found it funny. You, you know what? Laugh, you, you, you know what really it? pissed me off is you get to do a character, but I'm not allowed to do my famous character. Hold up. Hey, you're still on parole, Callan. I know. That's what I'm saying. I nice... do my character. I get charged with a hate crime. You do your hair, your character, and 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 we're just supposed to be okay with it. Uh, uh, no, nah, that's double standard. Well, not really. Yeah, he has a point though. He does kind of have a point. What? I, I, my character's a killer butcher. Like Cannon's character is completely different. You know? Well, how is it different, Amici? What's mm -hmm. so different about yeah, Alan's what, character? What's so different about my character? <laughs> well, kind of, why don't you show us? We'll decide if it's as a group. We'll decide if it's okay, if it's I've been or not. waiting for this all day. No. So. <laughs> Wait, no, you guys are trying to entrap me. Uh uh, no. Mm -mm. No way. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm just holding my phone up. It's. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. You're not my co-workers. <laughs> You're not bald either, are you? Take off that Freeze! Freeze! <laughs> I tried to leave that life behind, but comedy always stays with you. You can't. You, you'll, you'll never give up a chance to pull out that old bullshit character, huh? Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. You've arrested me, but have you arrested... Seamus O'Hulahan, cop on the block. I've come it's to a character. Oh, we can't do anything about <laughs> it now. Oh, man. It's another character. Well, you gotta wait again. Sir, uh, just be on my way. Hi, 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 hi. And see. <laughs> what, was <his laughs> what was the character's name? Uh, Seamus O'Hulahan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love how the comedy police can't arrest you in character. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> you gotta stay in character. Somebody should make that film. That would be a hilarious film. Right. The the yeah. He has to always stay in character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <gets> arrested. <laughs> <laughs> kind of do like Brewster's Millions. Comedy police arrest him off stage, take him like to this like underground thing, and tell him. Death or stay in character for life. Oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I, hey, we're approaching in. Oh, actually, actually, I do want to do want to do this. I want to go to the chat. Mm -hmm. um, first off, shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. Miranda, Contessa, Tandy. Tandy. Now, that's a chat room that I do not want to argue with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Sha yeah the, Shana too. I saw Shauna's. I would say the the general uh, consensus of the chat is the baby is shitty. Mm -hmm. Is that <laughs> without a doubt, without a doubt, there is no reason for him to. <laughs> uh, but chat, do you have any questions for for Callan? Actually, yeah, our our special guest would be no. awesome. Hey, did you guys enjoy Calvin on the show? Because I know I did. My my cheeks are hurting. Yeah, let's face, let's face judge cheeks, him right to his face. face <laughs> uh, this was this was a blast. This was great. Yeah, I, I have no idea why anyone in the chat room would have a question for me. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, but if not, yeah, yeah, we can we can go ahead and go on out of here, man. Cal, is there anything you'd like to plug? Shout out. Yes, I would like to plug everybody's arm with a COVID shot. Go get a COVID <laughs> shot, you dingleberries. <laughs> That's it. Someone says they're your cuz in the chat. Your cuz What's up, cuz? <laughs> but uh, yeah, John, if you can get those, uh, get those tunes spun up. 
Got a good one going. Get on, get on out of here for John, for Michi, for myself, Antoine's Can't Tell Us Nothing show. For Callan, thank you so much for joining us. It was a lot of fun. For Tandy, hope you drive safe. Hope you're enjoying your travels. Everybody else, have a good night. See you next Tuesday. <laughs>